Hey again, so this is my first official video of 2017, I guess. Um, so yeah, I was looking through my videos that I did last year around this time, and last year I did a 2016 goals video, so I thought I would do the same for this year. Um, I'll leave a link below to last year's video so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, but basically, I don't like to set resolutions. I like to set general goals for the year and try my best to accomplish them. So for this video, I'm going to do like a little mini review on my goals from 2016 and kind of an update in regards to how I did with those and then give you my goals for 2017. So my goals from 2016. The main one was to lose weight. So I wanted to lose between 15 and 20 pounds and I was actually doing really well with it. Um, I guess at the beginning of June I had lost 13 pounds. So I was really happy with myself and then things started to change. Things started happening in my life. I was hating my job and then I realized I needed out of that job. and. Um, decided to move downtown and look for a job down there, moving in with Josh and all the changes there and everything, and yeah, just life got in the way. I know it's a typical excuse, but um, yeah, there was a lot of things going on and it was hard to get settled and get into a good routine, so needless to say, I gained back all the weight I had lost, so that was unfortunate, um, but yeah, life does happen, so um that was my update on that goal my second goal was to pay off my osap student loan so in relation to the previous goal life happened things got in the way moving downtown meant i wasn't living with my parents anymore had to pay rent had to pay for groceries all those added expenses so needless to say i did not pay it off entirely though um, at the end of the year, I did pay off about two thirds of it, so I was pretty proud considering like how much a student loan is and that I did accomplish um, to pay that much off. So I'm okay with not totally completing that goal, that's fine with me. Um, my third goal was to read more books. That didn't really happen. <laughs> I don't know, I just get in the mood with wanting to read books. If I'm not in the mood, I don't read them. So. That one kind of fell by the wayside. Um, in relation to that goal too, I had planned to do a digital detox after 9.30 p.m. I think it was on weekdays. That was like impossible. I think that lasted for like three days. It is so hard. Like no phone, no computer, no TV, like no nothing. And yeah, that was really difficult. And I'll admit I did not accomplish that goal in the slightest. So that one was a fail, but whatever. Um, and then my last two goals, one was to journal twice a week and one was to vlog, like to post a vlog once a week. So after kind of thinking about that, like a vlog is essentially a video journal of like my day. So it kind of made the journaling twice a week redundant. And I did stick to the vlogs though, which was really good. I put up a lot of content this year, which I'm really happy with. Um, basically just towards the end of the year, like, life got really busy, so if there was a lot going on, I didn't necessarily get a chance to vlog, but I still vlogged quite a bit, so I could say that was a successful goal, so I'm happy with that. Alright, so in regards to my goals for 2017, some of them kind of tie into my goals from last year. Um, so the first one is being lose weight again big surprise like i said before because i did gain back what i had initially lost it kind of erased the the success of that goal for 2016 so um just generally eat healthier be more active i do have a um membership to a community center to use the pool they do have a small gym there too but like i mentioned in my previous goals video, I don't love going to the gym. It's just not my favorite form of exercise. So 
the pool is really good and with my trusty new Fitbit that tracks swimming it'll make that a lot easier so gotta get on board with that and yeah so that goal is pretty general um, second goal again is to pay off the rest of my OSAP so I have about one third of it left to pay so um, by the end of the year hoping to have that totally gone and not have to worry about that anymore my third goal is to just generally have a healthier relationship with food so like a lot of people I tend to stress eat when I'm stressed out or sad or whatever um, and it's not like the healthiest form of eating like if you're stressed out you don't reach for an apple like it just doesn't happen that way so yeah definitely change the way you think about food and leaning towards healthier foods um, like develop a routine like meal planning and stuff like that and trying to cook at home more often and not just being lazy or like getting fast food or something like that if I'm tired from work or whatever so just generally changing how I think and feel about food and being more motivated to be healthy in regards to eating so that's another one and my fourth goal is to pick up a new hobby. I don't know, I like being creative and I find there like I don't really have a creative outlet. Like I enjoy doing the vlogs and everything, which is a good outlet. Um but I've always liked being like crafty. So like I don't know, like maybe pick up knitting or like something like that. Try and teach myself just something to do rather than like just coming home and like putting on Netflix or putting on a movie and just vegging out on the couch so just something to like get my mind going and yeah just generally being not busier is not the right word but like busier you know not being such a couch potato basically so yeah four goals this year well i want to continue with the vlogs but i did a pretty good job with it in 2016 so i'm not too worried about it i still enjoy it and i enjoy the process of it so that's just a given. So yeah, I'm going to stick with four goals this year. If you guys make any goals for 2017, comment down below. And if we share similar goals, maybe we can motivate each other to do them. Because I know New Year, it's kind of hard to get amped up, especially after the holidays have been so busy. But I will do my best. I will do my best. So those are my goals for 2017. And... I hope you guys all had a wonderful New Year's and here's to 2017 being an awesome year. There was lots of changes in 2016 for me so um, I'm ready for life to just coast for a little while, just get used to my new surroundings, new routines, it'll be good, I'm looking forward to it. So I'm wishing you guys all the best in 2017 and with your resolutions or goals that you set for yourself and best of luck and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.